most important things that's happening in the world of enterprise is agentic AI. Agentic AI basically is a perfect example of test time scaling. It's a AI is a system of models. Some of it is understanding, interacting with the customer, interacting with the user. Some of it's maybe retrieving information, retrieving information from storage, a semantic AI system like a RAG. Uh, maybe it's going on to, to the internet. Uh, maybe it's uh, studying a PDF file. And so it might be using tools. It might be using a calculator. And it might be using a generative AI to uh, generate uh, charts and such. And it's, it's, it's taking the, the problem you gave it, breaking it down step by step, and it's iterating through all these different models. Well, in order to respond to a customer in the future, in order for AI to respond, it used to be ask a question, answer starts spewing out. In the future, you ask a question, a whole bunch of models are going to be working in the background. And so test time scaling, the amount of computation used for inferencing, is going to go through the roof. It's going to go through the roof because we want better and better answers. Well, to help the, the industry build agentic AI, our, our go-to-market is not direct to enterprise customers. Our go-to-market is, is we work with software developers in the IT ecosystem to integrate our technology to make possible new capabilities, just like we did with CUDA libraries. We now want to do that with AI libraries. And just as the computing model of the past has APIs that are uh, doing computer graphics or doing linear algebra or doing fluid dynamics. In the future, on top of those acceleration libraries, good acceleration libraries, we'll have AI libraries. We've created... तो जो अभी तक हम लोग ए के थ्रू कर रहे थे वही आगे ए आई लाइब्रेरी होंगी बहुत सारे ए होंगे और जो कि मतलब डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स पे ट्रेंड होंगे और उसमें वो आंसर देने में मतलब बहुत सक्षम होंगे सफिशियंट होंगे AI microservices all packaged up. It takes all of this really complicated CUDA software, CUDA DNN, Cutlass, or Tensor RTLM, or Triton, or all of these different really complicated software, and the model itself, we package it up, we optimize it, we put it into a container, and you can take it wherever you like. And so we have models for vision, for understanding languages, for speech, for animation, for digital biology, and we have some new, new exciting models coming for physical AI. And these AI models run in every single cloud because NVIDIA's GPUs are now available in every single cloud. It's available in every single OEM. So you could literally take these models, integrate it into your software packages, create AI agents that run on Cadence, or they might be uh, ServiceNow agents, or they might be SAP agents, and they could deploy it to their customers and run it wherever the customers want to run the software. The next layer is what we call NVIDIA NEMO. NEMO is essentially a digital employee onboarding and training evaluation system. In the future, these AI agents are essentially digital workforce that are working alongside your employees, um, working doing things for you on your behalf. And so the way that you would uh, bring these specialized agents into your the special agents into your company is to onboard them, just like you onboard an employee. And so we have different libraries that helps uh, these AI agents be uh, trained for the type of you know, language in your company, maybe the vocabulary is unique to your company, the business process is different, the way you work is different. So you would give them examples of what the work product should look like, and they would try to generate it, and you would give a feedback, and then you would evaluate them, so on and so forth. And so that, uh, and you would guardrail them. You say, these are the things that you're not allowed to do. These are the things you're not allowed to say. This, and, and we even give them access to certain information. Okay, so that entire pipeline, a uh, digital employee pipeline, is called NEMO. In a lot of ways, आप समझ सकते हैं कि जैसे अभी कंपनीज में क्या होता है ऑनबोर्ड होते हैं एम्प्लॉय मतलब एचआर जो होते हैं वो ऑनबोर्डिंग करते हैं एम्प्लॉयज को आगे आने वाले में जो जेनसेंग का कहना है कि एआई एजेंट होंगे जो कि आपकी कंपनीज में वो आपके कंपनी में मतलब एक तरीके से एआई एजेंट पूरे एम्प्लॉय की तरीके से काम करेंगे और 
उसमें वो खुद ऑनबोर्ड करेंगे जैसे आपके कंपनी में यदि कोई आईटी डिपार्टमेंट या हेल्प डेस्क जो डिपार्टमेंट है वो एक तरीके से एच आर ऑनबोर्डिंग का काम करेगा और वो सबको ऑनबोर्ड करेगा यानी ये जो ए एजेंट होंगे इनको ऑनबोर्ड करेगा और इनको चेक करेगा या इनको बताएगा या इनको ट्रेंड करेगा लाइक like हर एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वर्किंग स्टाइल होता है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बिजनेस प्रोसेसेस होते हैं फाइनेंशियल प्रोसेसेस होते हैं मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस होते हैं सबका डिफरेंट होता है तो उन एजेंट्स को ये ट्रेंड करेगा कि मतलब कैसे मतलब उस कंपनी का क्या प्रॉपर जैसे बिजनेस प्रोसेस है फाइनेंशियल प्रोसेस है या और सारी चीज़ें हैं उनको ट्रेंड करेगा और उनको ये भी बताएगा कि मतलब कहाँ पर क्या चीज़ें नहीं करनी है तो आने वाले टाइम में एआई एजेंट्स का ही पूरा ये जमाना होगा पूरा ये ईयर होगा आने वाले टाइम में जिसमें कि इनको ही ऑनबोर्ड करेंगे कंपनीज में जैसे आज हम लोग मतलब कोई भी एचआर एम्प्लॉयज को ऑनबोर्ड करते हैं maintain a bunch of software from uh from the IT industry in the future they'll maintain you know nurture on board and to uh, improve to jaise aaj matro IT companies may have desk ya IT department wale karte hain ki software ko maintain karna hardware ko maintain karna aane wale time mein AI agent ko maintain karenge aur unko on board karenge aur unka sara kaam dekhenge of digital agents and provision them to the companies to use Okay, and so your H, your IT department is going to become kind of like AI agent HR, and on top of that, we provide a whole bunch of blueprints that our ecosystem could could uh, take advantage of. All of this is completely open source, and so you could take take it and uh, modify the blueprints. We have blueprints for all kinds of different different types of agents. Well, today we're also announcing that we're doing something that's really cool and I think really clever. We're announcing a whole family of models. that are based off of llama the nvidia llama nemotron language foundation models llama 3.1 is a complete phenomenon the download of llama 3.1 from meta 350 650000 times something like that it has been derived and turned into other models uh, about 60000 other different models It, it is singularly the reason why just about every single enterprise and every single industry has been activated to start working on AI. तो ये जेनेटिक AI का पूरा जमाना होगा इसमें जो Nvidia ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया है Llama Neutron Suite Model. ये ओपन मॉडल ऑप्टिमाइज्ड फॉर इंटरप्राइज मतलब जो भी इंटरप्राइज लेवल के यानी कंपनी लेवल के लिए बनाया गया है इंक्लूडिंग सुपर लामा न्यूट्रॉन एंड लामा न्यूट्रॉन तो ये जो तीनों मॉडल हैं ये इंटरप्राइज लेवल कंपनी लेवल के लिए बनाए गए हैं और ये अवेलेबल हैं ओपन सोर्स है ये कोई भी कंपनी इस पर वर्क कर सकती है और इसको स्केलअप कर सकती है नाउ लेट सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक uh what jensen discussed so next topic he discussed about ai pc is bringing ai to every desktop let's see okay so ai ai was was created in the cloud and for the cloud ai was created in the cloud for the cloud and for uh enjoying ai on on phones of course it's perfect um very very soon Uh, we're going to have a continuous AI that's going to be with you, and when you use those meta glasses, uh, you could, of course, uh, point at something, look at something, and and ask it, you know, whatever information you want. And so AI is is perfect in the cloud. It was created in the cloud. It's perfect in the cloud. However, we would love to be able to take that AI everywhere. I've mentioned already that you could take NVIDIA AI to any cloud, but you could also put it inside of your company. But the thing that we want to do more than anything is put it on our PC as well. And so. Yes, you know, Windows 95 revolutionized the computer industry. It made possible this new suite of multimedia services and it changed the way that applications was created forever. 
Um, Windows 95, this, this model of computing, of course, is not perfect for AI. And so the thing that we would like to do is we would like to have, in the future, your AI basically become your AI assistant. And instead of, instead of just the, the 3D APIs and the sound APIs and the video APIs, you would have generative APIs, generative APIs for 3D and generative APIs for language and generative AI for sound and so on and so forth. And we need a system that makes that possible while leveraging the massive investment that's in the cloud. There's no way that we could, the world can create yet another way of programming AI models. It's just not going to happen. And so if we could figure out a way to make Windows PC a world-class AI PC, um, it would be completely awesome. And it turns out the answer is Windows. It's Windows WSL2. Windows WSL2. Windows WSL2 basically is two operating systems within... तो विंडोज डब्ल्यू एस एल टू का यूज कर करके हम लोग ए को रन कर सकते हैं अपने सिस्टम में दिस इज वॉट जेंसन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्यूचर वेयर ए आई बिकम्स एन इंटीग्रेट पार्ट ऑफ प्रोफेश पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स जनरेटिव ए पी आई फॉर थ्री डी लैंग्वेज एंड साउंड इनेबलिंग न्यू क्रिएटिव पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड एप्लीकेशन विंडोज डब्ल्यू एस एल टू एज द फाउंडेशन लेवरेजिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग विंडोज इको सिस्टम टू प्रोवाइड अ रोबस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ए आई डेवलपमेंट एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट जो विंडोज का सिस्टम है वो अभी ए आई के लिए फिट नहीं है कि मतलब उस पर डेवलपमेंट हो सके या डिप्लॉयमेंट हो सके बट यूजिंग दिस डब्ल्यू सर जो लिनक्स का मॉडल होता है यानी विंडोज और लिनक्स को मिलाकर के डब्ल्यू एस एल विंडोज पे मतलब लिनक्स लर्न रन कर सकते हैं तो इस मॉडल का यूज करके ए आई मतलब यहाँ पर ए आई को यूज किया जाता है किया जा सकता है आप अपने मतलब पर्सनल कंप्यूटर पे यूज कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर कंपनीज की बात नहीं हो रही है यहाँ पे बात हो रही है जो कि पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स होते हैं पी होते हैं उनकी बात हो रही है देन वन इट वर्क्स परफेक्टली इट्स डेवलप फॉर डेवलपर्स एंड इट्स डेवलप सो दैट यू कैन हैव एक्सेस टू बेयर मेटल डब्ल्यू एस एल टू हैज बिन ऑप्टिमाइज ऑप्टिमाइज फॉर cloud native applications it is optimized for and very importantly it's been optimized for CUDA and so WSL2 supports CUDA perfectly out of the box as a result everything that I showed you with NVIDIA NIMS NVIDIA NEMO the blueprints that we develop that are going to be up in AI.NVIDIA.COM so long as the computer fits it so long as you can fit that model, and we're going to have many models that, that fit, whether it's vision models or language models or speech models or these animation human digital human models, all kinds of different, different types of models are going to be perfect for your PC. And it will, you download it, and it should just run. And so our focus is to turn Windows WSL2, Windows PC, into a target first-class platform that we will support and maintain for as long as we shall live. And so this is an incredible thing for engineers and developers everywhere. Let, let me show you something. तो कितनी बड़ी बात होगी कि जितने भी डेवलपर्स या इंजीनियर्स हो, होंगे जो कि एआई में काम करना चाह रहे हैं और वो चाह रहे हैं कि उनके सिस्टम में एआई मतलब वो डेवलप कर सकें रन कर सकें तो कितनी बड़ी बात हो जाएगी कि डब्ल्यू एस टू का यूज करके यानी लिनक्स जो कि विंडोज में रन कर कर रहा है करता है उस मॉडल को यूज कर करके वो ए को लेवरेज कर सकते हैं ए के प्लेटफॉर्म को बना सकते हैं या उसमें उसको लर्न कर सकते हैं थिंग दैट वी कैन डू विद दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ अ ब्लूप्रिंट वी जस्ट मेड फॉर यू जेनेरेटिव एआई सिंथेसाइजेस अमेजिंग इमेजेस फ्रॉम सिंपल टेक्स्ट प्रॉम्प्ट्स येट इमेज कंपोजिशन कैन बी चैलेंजिंग टू कंट्रोल यूजिंग ओनली वर्ड्स With NVIDIA NIM microservices, creators can use simple 3D objects to guide AI image generation. Let's see how a concept artist can use this technology to develop the look of a scene. 
They start by laying out 3D assets, created by hand or generated with AI. Then use an image generation NIM, such as Flux, to create a visual that adheres to the 3D scene. Add or move objects to refine the composition. Change camera angles to frame the perfect shot. Or reimagine the whole scene with a new prompt. Assisted by generative AI and NVIDIA NIM, an artist can quickly realize their vision.